I recently published an article on my blog on how to set up your um, Prosper to, or your Purefly campaign on Prosper 202. And I wanted to do a quick video explaining the steps outlined in the article um, because I know that uh, videos are sometimes easier to, to follow. So here's my Prosper 202. Um, I'm at the setup menu and uh, the traffic sources page. This is step one. Um, so in this example and the example I use in the article, I'm going to use 7Search. So I, I added 7Search as my traffic source. You can add as many as you like. Um, you know, if you're running Facebook, Plenty of Fish, uh, you can add those as well. For each traffic source, you can add an account. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add one. Um, you can place a pixel from your traffic source, so 7Search gives you a conversion pixel, you can actually place that within your Prosper 202. It's not required, so I, I it's it's really up to you whether you do it or not. Anyway, I'm going to add that account. Step two uh, is categories. As I mentioned in the article, this is where you're going to put um, the your affiliate network. So, obviously mine would be Purefly, but if you're working with multiple networks uh, and you want to run a campaign across multiple networks, you can add those here. Uh, step three is campaigns. Um, this is where you're going to add the actual affiliate campaign from the network. So my network is Purefly. Um, I'm going to head over to my Purefly dashboard to grab a, a campaign. Um, let's go ahead and just set up uh, one for Mate1. So here's the, the Mate1 offer page on Purefly. Uh, the first thing you need is your campaign name. So I'm just going to grab that from Purefly. Okay. Uh, you can rotate URLs. I'm just going to use my Purefly link. And then for your affiliate URL, um, you're going to need your Purefly. Uh, it's, I guess it's a long link we recently changed so that we just have one link. Um, so with this, uh, I'm going to add the, the three sub IDs just as uh, examples so I can replace them. So uh, sub one, sub two, sub three. Okay, and I'm going to copy this link and paste it into my affiliate URL on Prosper202. So um, you need to, as I mentioned in the article, you need to change these uh, uh, those dummy variables I just entered uh, with your placeholders. So S1 equals, I'm going to delete that and click sub ID. Uh, S2 equals, I'm going to delete that and put C1. And then for the last one, I'm going to put C2. So now Prosper202 can pass uh, these variables into those placeholders. Um, the last step is payout and I am getting 425. So enter that. And then you can cloak if you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it off. Okay, my campaign's added. Uh, the next step uh, I would suggest is placing your pixel or postback link. Um, I already have a postback so I'm just going to go ahead and use the pixel. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, I'm going to grab this image pixel. And you can place that pixel into your Prosper 202, or I'm sorry, into your, your uh, Purefly account by going to the offer page and then clicking on tracking pixel. So I can place the pixel here push submit. Okay, my pixel's added. So now whenever I get a conversion on Purefly, it will, it will notify my Prosper 202. And then the last step is just getting your affiliate link. Um, so Purefly, I'm going to run Mate1. I'm going to direct link it. I'm going to use 7Search. Let's just put an example of $0.08 cents a click. Um, and then here you can place your uh, keyword variables, and then so on, and generate your link.